Hello everybody and welcome to Winston-Salem, North Carolina in the snow for today's Week 12 matchup between the Syracuse Orange and your Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Wake Forest comes in today's battle at 5-4. and four. They need just one more win in the remaining three weeks of the 2016 college football season to basically guarantee themselves a bowl game. Six wins and you're in. Hasn't been any different. Probably will never be. Let's see if Wake Forest can get it done today. Opening kickoff by Kevin Johnson. Syracuse won the toss and they like to receive. And this is Reed taking it out to the 23. So Dale Reed will start Syracuse from the 23. Let's get into it. Seven yard gain on first down. Ryan Campbell, catch him if you can. He will run all the way to the Wake Forest 35, and then he'll hand off, and Syracuse, in a matter of three plays, already down to Wake Forest red zone territory. But it wouldn't end there. With a man in motion, Syracuse looking to do a little fancy, but a great tackle, and the ball is live. Wake Forest falls on it. It was supposed to be an HB pitch, but our guy uh, Smith in the secondary, he covered his man perfect. The ball bounced nowhere near him, and Wake Forest takes possession. First play from scrimmage, Desmond Wortham. Heisman talk all you want. He's proving his case why he should be in the top five. That is a 76-yard Run untouched, didn't have to do anything special, and only one minute and ten seconds into the game, Wake Forest is up seven nothing. So a miscue on Syracuse's offense leads to a Wake Forest touchdown. Now third and fourteen, Campbell dumps it off to his halfback on a screen. He stops short, and George Morris can only get ten, but that does put him in field goal range. So Syracuse will send out their kicker. The kick is up and it is good by a large margin. Syracuse on the board, 7-3. Studio update time. The Textile Bowl. Clemson over NC State. For NC State, if they do win, that will help Clemson out. Or that will help Wake Forest out. And also themselves. Because they need a miracle to get six wins. Back to our game of bb and the kickoff, you only know why we show these. A big play, one way or another. And right now, it is Wake Forest. Kyle Holmes dragged down at the 45-yard line of Syracuse. So, from one play to another, Wake Forest, first play worth them handoff, touchdown. Let's see if that can happen again. Worth them on second and two? Well, it's not going to happen, but he does get a first down. New set of chains. Now third and eight after a couple plays later and only a gain of two. Wake Forest will look to go slants. Cameron, three-step drop off balance and it's no good. That will bring up fourth and eight. Syracuse defense playing well, but Wake Forest in field goal range. Kevin John, or sorry, Walter King on the kick and that one is good. 10-3 Wake. Textile Bowl update. NC State, we said they need a miracle if they do win, and that's what they are doing. They are winning 14-7 after being down 7-0 for Clemson. It would hurt them in the ACC standings and nationally as they come in 24th in the nation. 319 and counting to play, 10-3, Syracuse down. They have the ball, George Morris is in motion. They'll give it off to Josh Paris. He gets around one. It's a foot race, and Michael Stevenson is there. Great rundown by Stevenson, and it saves a touchdown. However, Ryan Campbell will take it himself the next play, and we have a one-point game pending the PAT to tie. So Ryan Campbell says, that's fine, I'll do it myself, and he does it. Untouched, just like Wortham, and it, the score with 3-0-2 to play in the first, 10-all Syracuse coming back 103 and counting fourth and two questionable call by the head coach but they're gonna send the offense Cameron spins 
He got the first down. Stiff arms. And he has a new set of chains for Wake Forest. After they move the ball a couple plays later, second and 11. 9.20 to go in the second quarter. First half of the game in the snow. Cameron dodges one. He has no time to throw. He finds Tyree Harris who gets laid out, but he does maintain the catch. Next play, third and four. They are looking at Anthony Rook who will go down low on the play. Cameron can't find him. He looks, throws, Jonathan Williams. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. Or is it? Wake Forest will set up for the PAT, but the referees want to review. They think he did not get his one foot in bounds. Watch that foot. And yeah, it comes down right after he holds possession of the ball. So in our books, that's a touchdown. Let's see what the referees say. And it is confirmed. Touchdown, Wake Forest. 16 to 10. Wake Forest responds very quickly. That's what we want to see out of our boys, especially with three weeks left, and they only need one win for a bowl. Kick is through, and King puts the Demon Deacons up by seven. Syracuse gets a field goal, so they are down four, 515 counting to go in the first half. Desmond Wortham, that is his worst run of the game, so why not? Why not throw it in there? Second and nine, 510 to go. Cameron looking. He'll fire it over and out of bounds. Good decision on his part not to force it to Anthony Rook. And now third and nine. Let's see if they can convert a first down. Cameron to Harris. Harris shakes one. He's got no one in front of him. And he can outrun the rest. Tyree Harris. Touchdown, Deacons. 78 yards. Cameron, second touchdown in the game. And it's all going good for Wake Forest. 24-13, 4.50 remaining in the first half. Fans here, yeah, they're loving every minute of it. Third quarter now after nothing really happens. A field goal by Wake and two, and a field goal by Syracuse, excuse me. Wake Forest, Desmond Worthen, that's all you need to know on that play. Jukes one, and then breaks out of another. He could have gone a long way if he was in the middle of the field, folks. That sets up goal to go first and goal. It's going to be an audible run to the left. Wortham can tiptoe in. Touchdown, Wake. 33, soon to be 34-16. And for Syracuse, it looks like time is running out. PAT by King is good, and we have ourselves a blowout in Winston-Salem. Syracuse gets a touchdown, Wake Forest a field goal, but it wouldn't matter because the dagger in the heart, Brendan O'Neill. That's right, the big boys even involved today. Touchdown, Wake. And with two minutes left, Syracuse couldn't do anything, and they fall to Wake Forest 44-23. Clock runs out, and your Wake Forest Demon Deacons are now bowl eligible at 6-4. and four. The only question is, how many more wins in the two weeks? Will they get to successfully get a better bowl? It doesn't matter though to us because in the first four years under head coach Mathis, the Demon Deacons have gone from absolute garbage, is the word we could say, to two bowl games guaranteed. The first one, Music City against LSU, and we'll wait till the end of the year for this one. Thank you for watching this presentation of Wake Force Football. Your name is Eakins win 44-23.